Tomorrow marks the 35th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. On that day, Dr. Fred Hoffman of Mercier's University was there and tells our Philip Ward how emotional that day was. Thirty-five years ago, joy and celebrations as the Berlin Wall that separated East and West Germany came down. Dr. Fred Hoffman from Mercier's University was stationed in Berlin at the time and recalls that emotional day. All these people descended on the border guard uh, stations, the five of them around Berlin, and uh, the border guards didn't know what to do. It was just paralysis. So one border guard let them in, everybody else followed, and the rest is history. The wall was built by the East German Communist Party and stood for 28 years in an effort to keep out so-called Western fascists from the state, but often said in the end, democracy was always going to prevail. That's the, the people's choice. You know, you always want to have, as a person, a government that represents you. And, uh, you know, whatever Marxism is on paper is one thing, but in practice, you know, there's a reason people try to flee all the time. Mr. Gorbachev tear down this wall. I knew at that moment that this is historic. I'll never experience anything like this again in my life. And it was true. Just as a side note, we because I was with the American, American military there at the time, and we had Monday off because of Veterans Day. So the policy was if you have a Monday off because of a holiday, they give you Friday. So the wall opened on a Thursday. We had Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday to hang out and be off with all these East Germans coming in. It was awesome. It was awesome. Philip Ward, Erie News Now. And Hoffman has 30 years of experience in the military and multiple intelligence communication community organizations serving in 28 different countries.